Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to share five eye avatar for your iClone 7. These five eye avatar are Sakurada Fumiria, which is CC0 license. It is free for you to use for any purposes. You just have a look first. What you need to do is you just need to scroll down, go to my video descriptions and download the zip file. Or I put in into a zip file. This is my Google Drive sharing. This is a download link. Once you download it, it will appear as a zip file. And what you need to do is just extract it to get the folder. It is totally five i avatar for your iClone 7. And actually, where can you see the license? I already Credit the license here. License and, cop and copyright for this avatar, Sakurada Fumiria. Now I show you, I open it just to let you know that this avatar is created by, by this company, what do you call Pix Pixif. The company name is Pixif and you can see this is the license page it show you that this is the CC license Creative Commons CC0 This model can be edited and used freely Please use this model appropriately within the scope of common sense The Pixif has worth all the copyright and related or neighboring rights to this model then you can use it for free and I already converted it to be in the iClone format and you can see this 5 avatar you can download it for free I, I already converted it with full facial expressions and now I'm going to demo how, how are you going to use this 5 avatar right now in the iClone 7, I just start a new project here. Once you already downloaded this 5 i avatar, what you need to do is just drag into your iClone project. Just something like this. Drag in like this. You can see all are just white color and now I'm going to show you how to change change the color. You have totally five eye avatar with different costume. For example, this avatar, if I want to change any of the hair color, for example, you you must select it and just go to here. You drag up here. Under the modify and the UV, you just need to go to look at the head zero ones and you scroll down, change the diffuse color here. You can change it to any hair color as you want. Alright, once you change the diffuse color of of the hairstyle already, what you can do is you can change change the, the color of the cloth. The cloth, the shirt is under the top. top. You also can change the color. For example, this diffuse color, you change it to be yellow, it will become yellow. And then, this is the bottom, the pant. You want to change the pant color, you, you just need to click the bottom here change the diffuse color to any color you want can be brown can be black it is up to you it can be blue as well if you want jeans finally you may just want to change the shoes color just now you change the pants color next if you want to change the shoes color here you can choose it as well. Let's say if you want to have a red shoes, you can just change it immediately. Click OK. 
So now you can see, you can customize the color and even the skin color, you can customize as well. The skin color is under, where is it? It's under the face and body. You can change the diffuse color as well. All right, next I'm going to show you how to change the animations, how to create the animation. For example, you can click here, just go to the face key, click OK. Under the face key, you can change the eyeball's direction, just like this. Select these two and you, you can change. Of course, when you click the default key, it will back to the normal. Make sure you click the eyeball so that you can change. Okay. And what about the eyelids? Alright, you can change the eyeball directions. If you want to change the facial expressions, you need to go to the Morph Animator. Under the Morph Animator, you can create animations in your timeline here. For example, at the beginning, it is default key and you play for one second, you change it to become fun. After one more second, make it become default key again and one more second, make him become angry. And after that, after a few seconds, back to the default key again and back to the neutral. Now. Then it, it already have the animations, just have a look when you play. It have the animation already. Next you may you may want to want to add in some talking animation, the VSAM, the lip sync. You can just click create script, click the TTS here. And you can just type here, hello, my name is, what is his name? Sakurada Fumiria. Sakurada Fumiria. Nice to meet you. All right, now, this is a script. You can hear it first. Hello, my name is Sakurada Fumiria. Nice to meet you. I change it to female. I hear again. Hello, my name is Sakurada Fumiria. Nice to meet you. Change the pitch. Hello, my name is Sakurada Fumiria. Then I click OK. Once I click OK, it will automatically create the lip sync, create the VSAM, and just have a look. It is quite accurate. Hello, my name is Sakurada Fumiria. Nice to meet you. Now this avatar already ready to for you to create any of the 3D animations with the complete facial expressions in, in the morph animator and also the lip sync VSAM, mouth docking VSAM also completed. And when you want to create any of the motion here, it is really easy. I choose a male um, I choose it at here, the Icon 7 motions. I can drag in any of, of the I motion or RL motion. Then now it is ready to create. Hello, my name is Sakurada Fumiria. Nice to meet you. It is ready for you to create any 3D animations and you can just have a Hello, look again. Hello, my name is Sakurada Fumiria. Nice to meet you. See? It is really awesome, just go and download it and it's really free for you to use. It's under CC0 license. And that's all for today about my sharing of the eye avatar of Sakurada Fumiria from Vroid Studio. You can go and download the Vroid Studio as well. And of course, you also can send this avatar to your Unreal Engine to make this avatar become the main avatar or any of the NPC in your game 
you can just refer refer to my video description. So I already put a tutorial link at there to teach you how to send the Vroid Studio avatar to Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5 to make him or make her to be your game avatar and NPC. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.